you don't reach your goal at the end. The beauty and the, the rewards are along the way. The goal is the journey. I'm in communication and in receiving communications all the time. There's nonstop bombardment of information and, uh, and work and obligations. Coming to an event like the Ultra Trail Gobi Race is a, a means of a forced break from that in some regards and really get to focus on me and being me and, and the world around me. I don't know who I am and what's your own limit. I think everybody don't know the limit space. So try something crazy and that's the right way to find a new one. We just wait for your comment. The Ultra Trail Gobi Race is a 400 kilometer self-supported single stage race. We have 150 hours to finish, which is just over six days. Um, we will be self-navigating with a GPS and map and compass to find our way. We can navigate whichever way we want. If we want to stay in a riverbed or we want to go to a road or we want to go up and over the mountain to get there, we have that choice. The straightest isn't always the fastest. If you decide to sleep, the time still continues regardless of where you are on the course. kilometers into the course so this is really kind of one of the first uh, I think decision points where people have to decide whether or not they're going to rest or not. This kind of an event really does I think open up possibilities to yet a whole nother group of people who want to experience something on a whole different level than running 100 miles will ever offer them. Running 50 kilometers on a straight line across a desert, there's stillness and peace out there that allows you to, to look inward during those times. When you get a little bit of pain, a little bit of joy, everything mixed in between, it definitely makes you feel alive. You have to get into like a kind of a Zen <laughs> meditation too, just to keep going. You feel so many different feelings, but definitely alive, <laughs> especially you look around. Right now, the race is on hold. What? The race is on hold. What? Nobody's moving. We were just about to leave. No, I know. It's a storm. Yeah, Brian, it's, it's, and it's, and it's moving worse. You, you don't want to run into what's up there. 
Rumors are it's minus 13 up there and uh, snowing hard. Everybody has their own plan and their own strategy and you gotta go with it. Because of the temperature drop, the wind can really drain you and just sap the energy out of you. So that's the, the main thing I'm concerned about. I'm gonna go. It's, it's warm enough to go. It's daylight. I feel comfortable at least getting to checkpoint six. I'm gonna get moving. Go on, I need to check out. The Ultra Trail Gobi Race is really based around a Chinese monk of the sixth century who really wanted to go see the original documents of Buddhism and in India. So he took a journey all the way up the Silk Road looking for what is hidden behind uh, interpretation and in and, and years of translation. And really, we're doing the same thing out there. There are many stories in Shandong's history uh, along this route. So I think it's not a, a, a competition just uh, on foot, it's in the heart. People who come to this race is for sure is not 100% normal. The outside is very, very cold and very, very windy. It's not safe for us. At night, it all looks completely different and slightly more treacherous. It's crazy. Yeah. This morning it was snowing and a lot of wind. And now it's the blue sky. 28 kilometers to go to the next train station. You can be on autopilot at times, and it's the most, I don't know if peaceful is the right word, or serene. Everything is just still, I guess. Your mind and your headspace is your own. I just thought I have to run like I was breathing. I mean, breathing is just natural. Just you don't do effort to, to breathe, and I could brace for 400 kilometers and I could run for 400 kilometers also in the, in the same year. You can go into to a race thinking you know who you are or what you're capable of, but when you go out there in something like a 400 kilometer race, there's n no chance not to strip away the veneer of what your personality is. I think for everybody, the real enemy is uh, themselves. Yeah. So I think when they run, so they, they not uh, struggle with the nature, they struggle with the heart. You know the difficulty, and you face it, and you challenge it, and you win. So the feeling is great. I think we're about three and a half kilometers out from the finish and it's a really good feeling. <laughs> After being out there for an, just under six days or over six days now, I think. It's always been about a personal challenge for me uh, and this one's been no different. Going out there, it, you know, every single day there was something crazy going on that it from freezing conditions to getting so lost for hours and hours in the dark. In the end, it's what really makes it worthwhile. I think it's, it's what takes you to the edge of your, of your perceived limit and then shows you how much more you've got to offer. You can learn things from books and from taking in information, 
but unless you put that into the crucible of experience, it's theoretical. You have to know the target, the aim. Without a, a dream, you will be lost. You have to know something, what you want, and where you want to go, where you must go.